and then all you got to do is give it a squeeze and it becomes invisible and then you can pull it out of your sleeve, you see? Have you ever seen a coin fall down, young man? No? Have you ever seen a coin fall up, young man? Yeah, it's because they're magnetic, you see, but they do come apart and you can even have that. There you go. I'm only joking, man. It's over here. <laughs> oh, watch this. You ready? Solid table. Two coins here and the ring is in the right hand. Is that fair to you, young lady? Yeah. Oh my God, 30% off. <laughs> I'm only joking. Look, I've got two coins there and I've still got the two coins in the ring over here. But watch this, young man. All the coins go through the top of the table. But I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, oh my God, this guy is amazing, right? Fair enough, I'll just keep going, shall I? <laughs> Do me a favor, young man. Can you just hold these for a sec? There you go, dude. They're in your pocket. Reach inside, grab them out. Are they there? Of course they're not, but that would have been impressive, yeah? But look at this, you ready? You take this coin here, you give it a rub and it gets bigger, you see? You know I do that trick in America, people go, wow, that's amazing! I do it here in Brisbane, they're all like, get on with it, fat boy! Now watch this, that was just the crap I do to warm up and let you guys know I'm worth watching! And now what I'm going to share with you is actually pretty cool. But before I do it, you guys will see this a lot easier. If you guys could just stand next to this young lady, don't be shy. We're all one race here, the human race, yeah? Come in close. Ladies, if you don't mind just coming around, standing over here, and uh, in this group of friends, if you just want to come around this way, that way these two gentlemen can come in and see as well. That way everyone gets a fair spot to see. And if these kids could just come up the middle here with, uh, with their sister here, their older sister. Yeah. I'm a charming magician, aren't I? All right, do me a favor. Piece of cake. Young lady. Could you pick a card for me? Anyone you want, don't just go for it. Anyone at all. Fair enough, I'll just do a different trick. <laughs> show it around, don't show me. Show it to these guys, show it to everyone, yeah? Show it to them, show it to this young lady, that's it. Show it to these kids as well. Show them the back of it. <laughs> yeah, she's good. Chuck it in wherever you'd like, yeah? Are you happy with that? Yep. It's my sound manager. <laughs> Check it out, you ready? You can see here all the cards are different. If I shuffle the cards like this, that's called the American Shuffle. Does that look okay, dude? This right here is the Waterfall Shuffle. This is the Waterfall Shuffle in reverse. This is the Waterfall Shuffle in Iceland. <laughs> the Ex-Girlfriend Shuffle. You see, it looks good, but it does nothing. A couple of cuts like this. The Donald Trump Shuffle. Get it? It's a wall. <laughs> but look at this, the magic stick does the magic trick. You spin, you tap, and your card jumps to the top. Is that your card? No, you seem pleased about that. But you take it like this, you give it a little spin, you snap your fingers, and it changes into your card, you see? I know, it's so good, I'll help you all out. Wow, that was incredible! Yay! But watch this, it gets better. Do me a favor, um, young man, what's your name? Dominic. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, write your name on the card with this pen they were giving away at my bank, yeah? Just don't cut yourself with that, because that is a Sharpie. You do that, I'll try and attract a few more people over here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know, I feel flushed. <laughs> oh, Janik, that's a lovely name, dude. Do you ever do this in school, young man? No? Probably a good idea, stay off the pens, they'll make you paranoid, yeah? <laughs> but look, you take this card here, if I just give this a little rub like this, the card is gone. Would you be impressed, young man, if the card you just wrote your name on was inside this guy's pocket with your name on the card? Would you be impressed? So would I, that would be a bloody good trick, wouldn't it? <laughs> If I was that good though, mate, I wouldn't be working on the streets, let's be honest, yeah? But you can see here, it's not on the top, it's not on the bottom. If you ever want it to come back, you snap your fingers and it does come back, looking like a king, but when you give it a rub, it changes into your card. Then you chuck it here in the middle and it jumps back to the top. Is anybody following this? Does anybody care anymore? Let's be honest, okay? But watch this. I'll find the card one more time without the use of my hands. Then I finish off with the oldest trick in the world. Does that sound okay to you guys? Hands up if you speak English. Great, three people, fair enough. Hands up if you don't speak English. Great, how did you understand the question then, buddy? <laughs> so watch this, here it is. Finding the car without the use of my hands. Now I've been doing this all around Australia for the past seven years. So I think it's pretty fair to say that I am the best magician within a 10 foot radius. <laughs> Hello. Check it out, inside my hat there is a card that's been there all along and that card just so happens to be this young man's card. But I'll do it again, only this time I'll show you that my hands are empty. I'll even show you that the hat is empty. Then the card will appear inside the hat. You will all go absolutely wild with applause. Except for you, mate, because if you clap with your hands in your pockets, you're going to hurt yourself. <laughs> Seriously. My dad used to be like, son, stop doing that, you'll go blind. And I was like, dad, I'm over here. <laughs> so watch this, here it is. Finding the car without the use of my hands. Nothing here, 
Nothing here. Hold on. Unther. Burr. Unther. Burr. Bummer. <laughs> yeah, I know it tastes like chicken. <laughs> now, guys, if this is the correct card, do me a favor and act like you're having fun, even if you're not. Then we finish up with the oldest trick in the world. Check it out, Jenny. Is that your name? Oh, come on, make some noise. You guys can't do it. There you go, mate. Super hit. Oh, cool, right? yeah. So, watch this, ladies and gentlemen. Pirates, okay? Three balls and a magic stick. Watch the stick. I know, right? Looks better on that side, just so you know, yeah? All these guys are just like, wow, that was quick. And this kid's like, well, that sucked. <laughs> so watch this, guys. Here it is, the oldest trick in the world. I learned this trick from my father. He was a magician as well. He disappeared when I was born. <laughs> so here it is. Ball number one. You take the ball like this, you've got to put it in the hand, you whack with a stick and it's gone. I'll do it again, ball number two. What's this, ball number two? Oh, can you see okay from there, young man? You're all sorted, yeah? Ball number two, gone. Oh, you saw that, did you? <laughs> yeah. Kids, eh? <laughs> Here you go, mate. <laughs> huh? Yeah. So watch this. Ball number three is the most difficult because now you all know what to expect. You got to spin like this. You got to tap. Did you see it go, mate? No, that's because you're staring me down like an immigrations officer. You're making me nervous. Look, you've got to give it a magic blow. Good boy, go. What? Gone. Don't worry, young man, it comes out with the balloon tomorrow, it's fine. I'm only joking, of course, it is in fact here underneath these cups, which drives the audience wild with applause. Come on, Brisbane, give me some love, damn it. come on. Now watch this, watch this. I'll get rid of two of the balls. Now, not many people know this, but this also used to be an old gambling game, seriously. Did you know that, mate? What was your name, if you don't mind? Joshua. Joshua, look, I'm not going to gamble with you for your money, buddy, but if I cover this ball and I move the cups around, all you've got to do, Joshua, is tell me where's the ball. Is it under A, B, or C? That's actually quite correct, sir. But you couldn't have got it wrong even if you wanted to, because I left you one over here. I even left you one underneath this middle cup, so I didn't want you to get it wrong. And now I'm going to show you all how it's done. Yay! <laughs> you see, when I say I take the ball and vanish it, I don't really take the ball and vanish it. You see that? <laughs> For those of you that haven't caught on yet, this is exactly what six years without a girlfriend looks like. Just FYI. <laughs> then what you do is you drop it from behind the cup and it looks like it came from the cup. So, sir, what's your name, if you don't mind? Jaden. You seem like you've got a good energy about you, mate. Jaden, how many balls are under that middle cup, mate? One. Exactly, dude. Just one. But check it out, man. This one here comes back. So, Jaden, how many balls are under that middle cup, mate? One. No, no, I've just got two, mate. Jaden, how many balls are under the middle cup? No, I just showed you it's two. Jaden, look, I'll give you a hint, mate. How many? Did you bet money on it, Jaden? No, you should have, mate. You would have won. Look, no matter how many times I do it, buddy, it's always two. How many, mate? Two. No, three. You're not following. Three balls at the same time, Jaden. Just now desperately wishing I was still picking on Joshua. Jaden, how many, mate? Three. Exactly, mate. Orange! Whoa. Oh, come on, make some noise. You guys can't do it. Seriously. Now watch this, watch this. The finale on the table in 30 seconds, and it is as they say back in Sydney. Okay, one dog coming up. Here it is. Two ways to make a dog. One is that you take the balloon and you twist it into the shape of a dog. The other one is that you take the balloon and you swallow it. Bear with me on this, guys. It'll go in the mouth today, through the body, and then it will come out tomorrow. As a poodle. <laughs> or a shih tzu. Oh, come on, guys. Where would we be without laughter, eh? Ipswich. Now watch this. Swallowing a balloon. <laughs> you cut the tension with a knife. You're all staring me down like a piece of bacon at a Jewish wedding. Here it is. You should see the look on your faces. You're all like this. <laughs> now, guys, this is actually a really dangerous trick. And I could actually die doing this for you all today, so don't try and stop me. Okay, I'll just do it. Here it is. Swallowing a balloon. Mum's proud. Oh, come on, clap, you guys can't do it, serious. 
Now watch this. Ladies and gentlemen, for most of you, that'll be the weirdest thing you've seen today. And for those of you that it's not, definitely good on you guys. But now what I'm going to share with you is the oldest trick in the world. Before I get started, allow me to introduce myself for the people that just got here. My name is Jason, and as I mentioned before, I have been doing this all around Australia for seven years. So by a round of applause, if you have ever seen me before. Okay, good. By a round of applause, if you have not seen me before. Yay! And by a round of applause, if you really couldn't give a crap either way. Thank you, sir. I appreciate your honesty. Thanks, kids. <laughs> Little girl. Did a kid catch this orange? Huh. Is it a real orange? Yep, throw it back to me, mate. Count of three. Close enough. Okay. So here it is, guys. For the finale, I will vanish these three balls from underneath this hat. This is a magic hat, by the way. You can always tell because it's bigger on the inside. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, fair enough, right? I guarantee you, though, someone was just like, wow. So here it is. Now, I know that in the grand scheme of things, vanishing three balls from underneath the hat does not seem that impressive, yeah? You see all these people on TV like Chris Angel and Dynamo doing all this crazy stuff, and I'm just going to make three balls disappear. But consider this. This is live. And I'm surrounded by close to 60 or 70 people watching me from different angles. So I have to be good. So watch close. Oh, let me neaten them up real quick. G'day boys, how you doing? You alright? Yeah? Sweet. Oh, come on kids, give me some credit. <laughs> now guys, at this point here, I'm sure you can all tell as well, but I will tell you anyway. I am a street performing professional busking magician. Which means this is my job. Everybody's laughing now. So guys, at the end of the show, I'll do a street performance do I put my hat on the table like this. Please don't let it deter you and don't feel pressured. All I ask is at the end of the show, you reach inside your wallet, take out five or 10 bucks, just leave your wallet inside of the hat. <laughs> but seriously guys, my magic is for everyone. Whether you're rich, poor, or even homeless, it is for everyone. But if you can give, give. If you cannot give, give. <laughs> so here it is, vanishing the balls, watch close. You ready, kids? Hop! <laughs> yeah, I know, it looks bad. But the balls have now vanished! Thank you! Okay, you don't believe me. Hands up if you believe the balls have vanished! Thanks, mate, I appreciate that. <laughs> Hands up if you don't believe the balls have vanished! Fair enough. Hands up if you just don't care what I do! <laughs> Thanks, kids. I appreciate your honesty. If oh, I didn't vanish the balls then, kids, how can I do this? <laughs> Bring the balls back again, yeah? You're not impressed with that, are you, kiddo? But you guys were bloody impressed with that orange, so I'll just do it again. If there's an orange in there, there's an orange in there. If there's an orange in there, there's an orange in there, there's an orange in there, there's an orange in there. If there's an orange in there, there's an orange in there. There's even an applause cue sixth orange all the way over there. Come on, that's a bloody good trick, right? But I know what you guys really want to see. I know what you want to see. Balls are under the hat, mate. Exactly. <laughs> and the crowd goes crazy! Now, ladies and gentlemen, let me share one last thing with you all before you...